Hello guys, Psycho here. This is the Redeemer build, but it's not actually Redeemer, it's Lightning build. <laughs> so this Lightning build, uh, this Lightning build I was uh, making and uh, New Game Plus obviously because nobody cares on the first play. For, play for. And uh, I sorry about last year, I forgot to talk. I, uh, so I hope nobody's mad about that, but let's look at this build. Uh, so obviously we're using the Yaksha set. So just ignore the pillow stance combo. Uh, because we're not going to use it the other way. But what you want is to unleash the rage within, which increases your damage a lot. And Especially when your weapon is in lightning uh, mo mode, if you want. Also, when you have low health, increased damage. Obviously, if you're good enough, you want to play with low health with this build. But I'm going to show you how this works. You know, without having low health. Uh, but obviously, you can use the Pilgrim set. Obviously, like, the Pilgrim set is obviously much better to use. Uh, but this is next to the best thing to it and you get this one I mean you don't get this one early you get pretty late and yeah get at the, at the end of chapter 5 but who cares really you go max it out and go for the increased damage that it gives uh, so, I'm going to show you both set, but obviously there's also another caveat with this build, is that I think you do, you take more damage from enemy attack, we also win this. There is that. But obviously we're using uh, the Storm Flash Lung Staff. Uh, so, there was an update yesterday, and I'm not sure if the change uh, but last time I read it was that every every attack was lightning damage and now it says shush and inflict final damage to every staff attack when in shock state so obviously they changed it to the real name uh, the real description and you, you look up other weapons too and see if there's uh, other changes uh, obviously this is probably a better weapon really. But this is a uh, thunder bill, shock bill. So what you want to use is obvious this one, because really the other ones are useless. Uh, and obviously you <laughs> have as many Buddha heads you can, like me. And obviously you need this one, because this one uh, ignores the enemies for banes, which means that if you fight a boss with shock, this one takes away that, so you can do shock damage or on that boss or enemy. Uh, so you go with this and at least four of these. And you look for one a new uh, curious slot every new game plus uh, up to five, I think. Then this is the only guy I had which had thunder damage. Obviously, you change him out to whatever you you, you like. Uh, obviously, you can. Which, the ones I recommend would be uh, the heavy attack one. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one, uh, consider increased heavy attack damage, because some of us, some of you might know this, but I think heavy attack is the best way to beat bosses. Obviously, you can stun bosses with it. Uh, second would be crit. Uh, crit damage. Uh, I mean, it's not really needed. Uh, then, uh, I mean, you can do whatever you want. And don't forget Spellbinder, which obviously is the one that's gonna increase your damage. Two. Now we have 250 damage. And 31 uh, crit rate. Which is pretty close to the other one. But what you want to do is charge this one all the way. 
now you're in shift state, which which state you wanna be in all the time. And and you know this case is lightning, but if you look at the damage, as you can see, it's a one shot like as to see those damage in just no attacks. That's that's pretty insane. If we go for, go before back more real. And if we charge this, actually let's change to this guy. As you can see, we still do pretty good damage, decent damage. Not, not like the other ones where you do 16k in one, co one hit, but obviously we did for it. So we don't actually know the full damage. First we go, we're going to uh, see the crit. SC 7000. We still is reliable if you want to like me, but uh, what I will say is light combo is probably better with this one over the other one. Because the other one is not reliable on crit, crit is reliable on the heavy attacks. So obviously you wanna go for light attacks with this guy. Uh, with this weapon build here. Obviously you wanna see in, uh, in in a boss fight, but this boss kind of sucks. So we, we see how it works. I don't like this boss though. So. This boss is one of the more annoying boss fights. Some of you might know that. And if we power up, because obviously you want to do the most damage. And not get hit. Obviously this guy is going to hit every attack. Like every, every attack dude. Because I hate this guy, I hate this guy so bad. Like, you see how bad I am? Like, I haven't played this game in two days and I'm already worse than fucking people I've never played the game. Obviously it's gonna do a grab. Uh, this is not the full show cake. <laughs> this is not gonna show the full. capability of this build but you know I'm not the best in this game and as you can see I got hit by that stupid attack and this is uh bad dude yeah, every time I'm trying to charge the goddamn Now it's doing that one. And he touched it. Obviously, it touched And he's a fucking face pulp. And he's. Nice. Almost a one shot. And he's doing the grab again. Ah, I hate this. Actually, it wasn't the grab. Actually, I should stay in lower, lower. Much damage just to actually increase. Ah, like what, 40? And I'm dead. Why am I? Yeah, man, I'm dead. <laughs> but as you can see, this PLD is... Well... Pretty good, it's not bad. But we can test this with the uh, uh, Pilgrim and you can see the different... The, da the damage is so... 
so much better with the pilgrim. Uh, some of you might like this song because it's the way it's done the pilgrim. And obviously we have the same attack. That's that's the po that's the point I'm uh, I'm making. Like you you get the same amount of damage, and you get better uh, status uh, effects. Pilgrim, with uh, sprinting, and you can drink while you sprint. You can gain focus while you sprint. You gain attack when you sprint. Like come on, it is the best. And obviously, you still want to do this if you want to play f uh, Thunder. Uh, but the, the thing is with Pyrrhine, like, look at this, look at it. Down. Down. Now, I think that's max. As you can see, 343. And, like, that's a lot of damage. Like, seriously, that's a lot of damage. And also, we we have more defense with this arm. As you see. This was so goddamn annoying, I said, yeah. And he obviously, he, he blocked the tank and jumped perfectly at, at the time of when I was trying to come back. And obviously he's gonna hit you. And he's gonna move perfectly away from your attack, just like the AI know. Gonna... I forget this fucking face. As you see, the damage is by less. Damn if we had that armor. I will also take away more damage with that one. And we no crit of this. Actually, I know why I'm not doing more damage. I forgot to put on the spellbinder. No wonder. And it's gonna hit me. Now the damage is And the grab. Watch. Oh my god. I swear to god, that would have been a one shot. 100% that would have been a one shot. Uh, what the hell? I hate this was so good. Look, he didn't even hit me, what the fuck? And die. Okay, obviously he didn't die, but he could have. I have referenced him the goddamn annoying ass wing of stupid But I got to say Why did I do shield damage? 
10. Goddamn. <sighs> Actually, I think if now that I look at it, I might have done more damage with the red. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, okay, obviously, it's gonna be perfect. God damn it, get out of here, man. Ah, uh, but yeah. I, I'm not sure. You guys. Look at the video, tell me which one you think did more damage. I, 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 I think you actually did actually a bit more damage, I'm, but I'm not 100% sure. But, but also, I think this one is more safer because, like, how you, you have more health. I mean, more defense. Uh, not health. Uh, so. Hope you guys have fun. Uh, obviously, I like the pilgrim a bit better, but obviously, I think if, if we could go for, with any build, I really think the Tauren build is the best build in the game. But that's just me because you can tank, you can, you don't need to rely on anything special uh, with the, the tank build. Uh, the tank build is so much reliable on just having high defense that you don't really need care. But these builds are more for dodgers, if you know what I mean. People who are good at dodging. Uh, as you saw, I am really not good at dodging. Uh, I really like the Tauren build. Wait. Guys, uh, if, you have, if you have more information or if you want to see some other builds, maybe you want to see some builds for only uh, starting the game once and at the beginning of the game and you want to play for when you're level 1, I mean like builds for your first playthrough. Uh, if, if, you, if you want to build for your first playthrough, it's probably Bronze Armor. Uh, the bronze armor is uh, really good in your first playthrough and you get it pretty early in chapter 1 uh, by ringing the bells and uh, it's re pretty re reliable on just using immobilize and if you're really good uh, immobilize can save you hundreds of times and you can literally sometimes one shot post it with one immobilize if you're good uh, otherwise Gale, if you go a perfect touching or you wanna like learn a boss fight fully, uh, the Gale is also really good. Your first playthrough, maxing that out, uh, will do do good, and you get some 
I don't remember what you get, but uh, you get uh, a skill of one of the, uh, one of them. Uh, it's not on this one. Like this uh, unique effect, like this. Um, the bronze arm guard is so good. Like, like if in your first playthrough, uh, you get this skill right here, uh, which is also really good with your combo. Uh, like, if you're gonna play first playthrough, get the bronze armor, uh, max it out once you unlock the tiger vanguard uh, or the white tiger uh blacksmith and uh, max this out in first playthrough save once you max this out save your other materials for, to upgrade so that you can either max out the pilgrim or if you want to max out something else uh, uh, because uh there's some that is not infinite items uh all the and game items are like there's like ten of each or something like that. So save them uh, and max up one set in your first playthrough, and don't go and waste them on set that you don't need. Obviously, I can I can do because I'm new game plus. I don't really care. Uh, I, I want to make a poison build my next build. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a poison build and see if we can do something in that. And that's why I have uh, the, uh, the centipede set maxed up. Uh, also, the okra build uh, is also something I wanna make uh, because uh, it's really good. Because uh, if you like using your duplicate, this build is so good. Uh, uh, I think it's the, is this the, I think it's the, here, once you max out the body armor, or whatever you can call body, uh, uh, it will uh, give you a duplicate every time you use a charge attack. So every time you use a charge attack, you get a duplicate, but you need to be, you have, you need to be, I think you need three or four, uh, focus point summon a duplicate so but it's really good and I, I might might make a build for that one in the future uh, uh, the yin yang is like there's a way you can build like which as you can see this just have one uh, one effect so if you have uh, I always press the wrong button so if you use like armors that has one effect like this one uh, you can combine them, so you can use the, this head, and you get the unique effect. Then you can use the uh, body armor, and you will get that unique effect. And then you search for another one that's interesting, unique effect. Like this one, focus point will increase crit gate chance. Uh, so you get more crit damage when you use a, a focus point. And... Let's see if we have some shoes that distance them. But take that damage. Nah, that's the booking. You could actually use this to increase your defense in your booking. There's something else. Performing free uh, consecutive perfect torture within brief moment because my mana would be really good if you uh, use the duplicate build. Uh, at the moment, close to the increase on real strike. If you use on real strike, this could be good. Uh, I don't see any good or any unique effects at all uh, on these armors here, so I'm not sure if there's actually are more than these two. Uh, there might be more. Uh, I just had to level them up. Uh, this one I have to test. I I'm not sure how this one works. But if it's for every relic, then this one might be really good. I, I, I'm, I will be testing out in future. But now that we have this, like, you can have the, the, the two part booking here because you do. Then you have this. This will be actually really cool. Uh, it's, uh, I, I'm not 100% sure how it works, but it will change color. And, uh, 
when you have full health, it will be black and white when you have under half health, which increase your critical hit rate, uh, which is pretty interesting. It might actually be really cool, but because it's just massively, but it must increase critical chance, but must increase damage taken. So, if you want to play like you know, attack uh, one of those uh, builds where you do a lot of damage, but you also take a lot of damage, well. This one, those builds, you could play like this and go around and have fun, try to survive as much as you can. And this is the Go Socium. I don't know how I got the common one, but this is the Great Talent one, so. And then the Tiger High Clove, I'm not sure, but it would be really cool if you could actually upgrade this. It became a really good one. Uh, perfect Duchess. Uh, I mean, obviously nothing you gonna beat the best one. Actually, I'm not sure anymore if this is the actual best one. Defense might actually be the actual best one. Now that I think about it. Uh, also, there is the Ghost of the Armor League and Myth Cop, but I mean... First off, you need to rely on using one spell to increase the critical hit chance. And a procreate is to reduce the color of a spell, but that's if you're playing with spells. If you're like me, don't rely on spells and only want the spell binder. This one's way. Two bulking set is way more, way more like int Guys, thanks for watching. Psycho out, hope you have fun.